Okay, here we go. Just to add to our techniques for anti-differentiation, find the indefinite integral of x cubed over x to the fourth plus one. This one actually took a little bit of thinking. Sorry, they should have said dx at the end. So there's that. Now this one took a little bit of thinking, but as you look at the bottom piece, doesn't it look like the numerator might be the derivative of the denominator? That this is the derivative of this. So it makes me think of the, der the derivative of ln of f of x, which is 1 over f of x, possibly, times f prime at x, probably. So I kind of started out there. I'm going to use u substitution and said, let u equal x to the fourth plus 1. du dx would certainly equal 4x cubed, wouldn't it? So du would equal 4x cubed dx, right? Then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to multiply both sides by 1 fourth. <clears throat> the reason I'm doing that is I'd like to get this piece, x cubed, x cubed, dx, dx. I like to get this replaced. So what my goal is, is right here, if you want to see it. My goal is to try to do something about this stuff here. So that's my goal there, to do, to do something with that. So here we go. So multiply both by one fourth. So we have du. Oh, hello. We have du over four is equal to x cubed dx. I think we got a replacement piece, don't we? For here and here, right? Okay. So from here, I want to start doing some replacements. So what I'd like to do is this, do some replacement here. I'm going to come back to that problem. I'm going to do the, a replacement here. I'm going to replace. Let's replace this. So let's replace. Wow, well, not good. All right. Let's replace x to the fourth plus 1 with u, right? And let's replace up here, let's replace that, that x cubed dx up in the numerator with <clears throat> 1 fourth du. And I think if we do that, we end up looking like this. The only first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move this 1 fourth out. So here we go here, right? So I'm going to start doing my rewrite here. This is my indefinite integral right of uh, this one fourth right here I'm gonna move this out to here right and look du force this here's this that's this one fourth is this one right <clears throat> so I'm gonna replace my x cubed dx with this du right and du times one fourth is that one fourth du isn't it Okay, over, and then at the same time, we had x squared, uh, sorry, x to the fourth plus one in the denominator, but that's what we use our u substitution to let that be u, and we have this now, don't we? Okay, so let's look at this, simplify it out a little bit more. I'm going to simplify this out this way. I'm going to simplify this out as one fourth, the derivative of one over u. That's our ln, isn't it? Right? This is our our derivative of ln of x here, isn't it? <clears throat> and then to replace, sorry about that, our ln of u, du, right? Du. This du right here is this du right here. Now, hopefully, we can really recognize this, right? And this, remember, we said that this is our f of x down here, didn't we, right? Because when we took the derivative of ln of x, when we took the derivative of ln of x, it was 1 over f of x. So that makes this f of x. So that's what makes me think this is ln. So we have, now we have 1 fourth 
This is as I integrate one fourth ln u is x to the fourth plus one in that c value at the end. So I guess if you're asking, well, how do we get there? Looking, just we've been talking about this all chapter long, about recognizing patterns, recognizing things, recognizing um, derivatives. So that's how I got to where we got. Okay, I'm going to do another problem like this. I'm going to do that problem that you guys are interested in, that, that E problem. And I'm going to go ahead and start setting that up, and I'll get it up as quickly as possible. So um, keep up the good work, please. And drive carefully and don't shave laser drive. It's a little sponge job.